Hello, hello! At the prompting of another individual starting in Escape Velocity Let's Play, they picked up Override, I decided I would also add to the availability of Escape Velocity content and add my own, and I've decided, so as not to step on this other person's toes, to run EV Classic as opposed to EV Override. Now, uh, I will be running this through uh, Guy's EV port for EV Nova, because there's really no way for me to record the original. So some things will be different, but it's a pretty faithful port. And I suppose I'll point out oddities on the way. Wonderful, wonderful theme. Didn't want to interrupt it with my stupid-ass voice. But as you can see, I have a pilot already loaded here, which I will not be engaging, because, as you can see, this is already quite a ways along. So, we'll be starting a new pilot. We will give ourselves the imaginative name of UE. And we will manually rename ourselves the... Uh, the uh, the Star Seeker, which is one of the original prompts. I just don't care for Journeyman, personally. I will make an effort to read the intro text. I do not have a lot of faith that I'll be able to keep up with it, but here we go. Boxy, boxy shuttle. <laughs> The new age of peace and prosperity was a failure. The discoveries that made faster than light travel possible brought us untold riches and unknown dangers. The alien warships appeared without warning and decimated most of the outer colony worlds within hours. There was no stopping the mysterious alien menace. The Great War was upon us. But we beat them. The human race banded together into a powerful confederation of worlds whose combined military strength was enough to turn the tide of the war. Within eight years, the enigmatic alien marauders were extinct, but the elite and powerful members of the Confederation were reluctant to give up their power after the end of the war, and the rule of oppression and tyranny created by the powerful Confederation Navy. They exploited the outer colony planets for the benefit of wealthy core workers, stripping them of their resources and coercing the colonies into forced labor. The reign of terror lasted for 15 years, then the insurrection began. The outer colony is weary of the Confederation's practices of exploiting their land and denying them any representation of the Senate. The Senate formed a goddamn and I lost it. You can read the rest of something. Gotta love that classic, you don't have a tutorial, you just get some text on the screen there. Hi! Yeah, first thing you should do is probably land. Hmm. So here we are in the Levo system, with the planet Levo. It's an independent colony, nothing special about it, just a bit of a water world. But it is also the, uh, the only free port in the game, no matter what your legal status. Horrifying criminal or a uh, pillar of society, you can always land here. As you can see in the planet description, Levo is an independent world that has resisted joining the Confederation. Anyone is welcome at the tiny but neutral Levo spaceport, located on the island of Lakanda in Levo's southern ocean. Not a lot to do here. Only a commodity exchange, mission computer, and a spaceport bar. Check the news, the Interstellar News Network. 
old favorites such as Pong, Maelstrom, and Avara, two of which being Ambrosia titles. Well, when you kick this off, there's not much to do but uh, hurry up and make some cash. Let's see, Landfall. That's uh, pretty sure that is Centauri. That's pretty close. That's two jumps. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll hop over to there. Once upon a time, you know, from, from childhood up until about five years ago, I probably could have reproduced this game pixel by pixel. I had everything so well memorized. This is no longer the case. But still, I have a pretty good recollection of most everything, so I shouldn't run into any snags moving along. We've just engaged in a couple hyperspace jumps away from the Levo system and into the Centauri system, where we will land on planet and landfall to complete our first delivery mission. And a nice easy 25k. Regional map? Who needs it? I have this map memorized, for the most part. New ships? Well, new ships would be good, but uh, we're a few deliveries away from being able to upgrade. I do want to jump into a scout ship as soon as I can. Uh, Sentinel Station? No. No, that's, that's an annoying location. Look at that, way down there. Screw that. Or some minor beta isn't any better. We'll jump over to Earth, see if there's a better mission there. Because this is the Nova port of EV Classic, I, uh, I do get the benefit of using my mouse to select targets. But you will find that I almost never do that, because I never really played all that much Nova. Yeah, Laura Lee is pretty bad, and Terry's is pretty easy though. We'll hop over there. Now for me, in my case, the only real reason to purchase a regional map would be uh, to make it easier to plot my courses. But that's not a big deal. Here we are in the Antares system, home to the Aztecs Mining Corporation, and the occasional intruding Rebel Manta that gets quickly dispatched by the Confederate patrols. I'm supposed to go to the station, I think. Here we go, get a little more cash. Refuel. Where can we go next? Lethe's not too far. North Star. North Star's pretty good too. We'll go to North Star. I have to pass through uninhabited system, but that's alright. Our chances of getting blown up are pretty minimal. Just a clipper, we're fine. If it were a Corvette or a Kestrel, those uh, those would probably missile and rocket me into oblivion before I could get out. Rush delivery to Earth, can't argue with that. And on our arrival at Earth, we'll be able to upgrade to our very next ship, the Scout Ship, for which I have no name yet prepared. Uh, 
Here we go. Gridanti Systems Mark 17 scout ship is used primarily by mining corporations and entrepreneurs to seek out new mineral deposits. It is also a fairly decent courier ship, although its light armament poses a serious disadvantage in a fight. Its main selling point is its extremely long range. Once upon a time, on the Ambrosia forums, there was often the debate, which ship do you go for first, the scout ship or the courier? I always went for the scout ship because it's half the price and has almost as many uh, features as the courier does. It also has much stronger shields and less armor, and shields typically are more resistant to the weaponry available. You can see here the courier relies mostly on its armor rather than its shields. So we need a name for our scout ship. How about Stepping Stone? Because it's not going to stick around long. We'll pick up a couple extra laser cannons so that we can do a little bit of piracy on the side as we're poking around. Uh, I can afford the IFF and the density scanner. I'll pick those up so that my radar is more useful. And just because I'm a little paranoid... Oh, I can't afford it. Never mind. Clotho, Plateau... Plateau's right next to me here. I do believe. Yeah. We'll head Plateau and then head over to Spicer. Spicer has uh, long been my hangout of choice because it is a system controlled by the rebels and the rebels really don't give a shit if you pirate civilians in their systems to think there was ever a question as to which side was the righteous side the confederates on the other hand they'll shoot your shit up if you uh, attack anyone in their space Endor, wrong direction. Sergil, also wrong direction. North Star, we're gonna pass, or could pass, on the way. Let's do that. Let's grab the ferry passengers there. Nothing in... No bar-based missions for me yet. So we'll pop out of here. Stop by North Star. and proceed on our way to Spisa. Okay, no pirates at the moment. He said as a pirate immediately jumps in, but that's okay. We got those couple extra laser cannons. Why don't we, uh... You can see here on my, my player statistics thing that my combat rating right now is harmless. I'd like that to be mostly harmless. So I'll just dispatch this terrible pirate freighter. Oh dear. There's a second one. That's a little problematic. As you can see over on the right-hand panel, my shields are very nearly down and I have next to no armor. So I'm just gonna, now that I've disabled one target, lure the other one away and then go pirate the pirate. Because I am a greedy little bastard. And besides, Argosies tend to have about a rush delivery's worth of credits on them. And I do believe Spice of Deals and Equipment, so I'll see if I can bring that along. And behold, my combat reading is still harmless. Must be because it induced a self-destruct after I took the cargo. I 
that is one short-lived pirate. But that'll happen when a rebel cruiser attacks you. Complete our delivery. Sell off our equipment. Look at that, we've already got more credits than we had when we went and bought Scout Ship. Ain't that dandy? Where the hell is that? It's gonna be on one of the way outskirts. It's just not worth my time to go out there for 20k. New Istanbul is very local. And I'm actually gonna pick up a regional map here because Spice is very close to this pirate base right here, New Antigua. And it can often be handy to see if uh, the pirates have suddenly decided they won't require a bribe for you to land there. In case it wasn't entirely clear, I'm, I'm sort of taking this from the perspective of if you're watching this, you probably have a pretty good idea of what Eevee is and how it goes down. But if you don't, blue generally means they, they like you well enough to let you land. Red means they're going to shoot you on sight. So uh, there's that whole thing going on. Rupert? Wow. I never go there. Let's go there. Uh-oh. And that would be a pirate kestrel. And I am very much toast, I think. No, I do seem to be outrunning these, these lightning fighter bombers. So if I can just get enough distance between me and them, I should be able to jump without getting blown up. That should do it. Another pirate here, but this is just an Argosy. We can handle him, just as we did the one in Spisa. Weapons on target. And I'm disabled. This is a feature of Nova that was not present in the original Escape Velocity. The player in the original could not be disabled. So what we're going to see happen here is this pirate is actually going to plunder me and steal some of my credits. A good chunk of them at that. Now I could simply hit the control key here and make it like that never happened, but we'll we'll not do that. We'll just pay this rebel cruiser to come around and fix our propulsion systems and be on our way. Thank you very much. So we attempted to pirate a pirate, and ended up getting, oddly enough, pirated. Hmm. And here we are at Rupert, in the Persephone system. Rupert is a small moon that is home to a colony of religious fanatics, followers of the Order of the Holy Mac. This was, after all, one of the classic Mac games, back when Macs were gaming machines. As hard as that is to imagine today. We'll hop over to Satori, I think. Grab a map here.
and Satori, notably Palshave, Planet Palshave, is uh, the capital of the Rebellion. Palshave is a beautiful world of rocky islands and gorgeous skies. It was one of the galaxy's more popular vacation spots before the Great War. Now it is home to Rebel High Command and the Rebellion's main troop training center and shipyard. Can't buy any Rebel ships here. Not yet. Uh, do I have cash? I have some cash. Missile Jammer might be a good idea. We're probably going to be in this scout ship for a while. Let's get the Jammer. Let's get the Flare Launcher. Cap out on flares. This should uh, help keep us alive a little bit easier. Uh, do I want to get some missiles? Wonder, I wonder. I think, I think I will grab some missiles. Just so I have that little bit of extra firepower. Sauron's out of the way. New Japan also out of the way. Luna's kind of out of the way too. We'll just head for Maxwell's purchase in the Cthulhu system. Mission we picked up while we were on Rupert. And you will note, of course, that this game is chock full of Easter eggs. You'll note the uh, uninhabited system here, THX1138. I would tell you where that's from, but I can't actually remember where that's from. I just... I know it's a thing. I'm aware it became a movie, but I'm pretty sure it was a book first. Or part of a book. And here we have two Confederate cruisers beating down on a rebel cruiser. Never stood a chance. But that's no concern of ours. Our concern right now is making oodles and oodles and oodles of money! Uh, where are we? Do we want to go there or do we want to go there? This is closer. One thing I never really learned in EV Classic was a good trade route. So I've always pretty much relied on running rush deliveries to make my cash until I could afford a large fleet of freighters to uh, make reasonable use of relatively low yield trade route. Something like uh, Spisa to Rigel to Levo back to Spisa. You don't make a lot of money on each each of those legs, but uh, you make more than 25k. <laughs> Kiba, that's kind of close, I guess. We'll head over there. Another change that comes to mind uh, is that in the Nova port here of EV Classic, you don't actually have manual control over your decoy flares, which actually makes them far less effective. There's only a small window in which a decoy flare can really effectively distract a missile, and the automatic deployment of flares just doesn't work all that well. The only real upside is you don't have to think about it. Lots of rush missions. Oh my no. That's uh, 
in the Alcade system, right? No, that's Cygnus, okay. Endor is way out of the way. Mars and Blackthorn are pretty local to each other. We'll do that. Blackthorn can be a little dangerous. Anything else on the way? Yeah, sort of, kind of, not really. Have I been there yet? I have not been there. Oh, apparently I am going to Earth. In that case, let's grab the freight to Earth. And I believe Earth will pay money for luxury goods. We'll fill up there. Oh, it's it's Mars that I go to. All the same. I usually like to cycle through the targets in a given system as I'm waiting for jump. Just kind of gives me something to do. Okay, so we've got the freight delivery to Earth. Sell off our luxury goods. Blackthorn will probably uh, need medical. Could be wrong. It's a risk I'm willing to take. We sell it off somewhere else. Just make use of our idle cargo space. Fifteen tons. And it happens to be going to the same place we're going. Argosy, nothing to worry about. And our final leg of the journey. Oh, dude, I should have an afterburner. I'm an idiot. Okay, just this guy. Let's uh, approach this carefully. Rebels will do the lion's share of the work here. Jesus, these heavy rockets passing me. Nope, still harmless. I didn't get the killing blow. So here we are at Blackthorn Station. It's a uh, kind of a pseudo pirate location that's not actually controlled by pirates. Huh. And they don't really care for medical goods. It's usually uh, a surprise when it comes to a space station. They usually uh usually want a lot of luxury goods and medical supplies, but not here. I'm just for convenience. Uh, afterburner. Definitely want an afterburner. Your other defense against missiles besides flares is to just book it. Uh, let's see. New France? Sure. Let's go to New France. Oh, 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 another, another classic, uh, Ambrosia Forum question. Confederate frigate or rebel destroyer, as you can see, and as anyone who's played the classic Escape Velocity before can tell, the Nova Port has drastically changed how, uh, how the AI behaves. Usually the Rebel Destroyer and Confederate Frigate were pretty evenly matched. Ooh, shields are down. Ooh. I am very tempted. I'm very tempted to just fire on this Confederate Frigate and try to capture it. It's kind of a shot in the dark, but... I'd never make it out of the system with the cruiser there. 
still. It'd be one hell of a way to advance my, uh... My firepower and other such nonsense just to capture a warship right off the bat. Wouldn't that be nice? I may, later on, make a concerted effort in that direction. But, uh, not right now. Scout ship is... Not really the ideal for that. Should have two more jumps. And here we are, arriving. In the regular system. With New France. Hunter's not too far away. And I'll get it on the map. Let's do that. Apparently I am wrong. I must have been thinking of Emerald, which is over here. Hunter can go to hell. We're going to New Istanbul. Ah, yes, Jason Jones. I don't know who that is, but it's definitely someone related to the game or the community. There are a number of, uh, purrs, as they were known. P umlauted E R S. But there are, there are ships in this game named after people in the community and, uh, employees at Ambrosia Software. Samson's? Wow. Sure, let's get that on the map. A little bit of a trek. So we're just uh, running around, getting locations on our map, gathering up some credits so we can advance to the next ship. is uh, Port Oried there in the Tiber system. It's a pretty reasonable stopover. Rebel controlled though, so you side with the Confederates as I may or may not do. Can't really stop there anymore. Ruby's local. Ruby would be a very good thing to get on the map, because even when you work for the Confederates it can be difficult to get landing clearance there. You get to bypass landing clearance if you have a delivery for the system. Jacques Vaughn. Here we are at Ruby. Ruby is completely red. Red ground, red sky, and red planet in the background. This moon is a testing ground for many new Confederate we uh, weapons. One of few places you can pick up space bombs, which are really devastatingly powerful, but also really difficult to deploy. Maybe, uh, maybe I should get some to demonstrate. I don't really have enough space on this ship, though. Maybe later. Okay, did I get a map here? 
Looks like I did. Buy it again. Just because I can't remember. And that's pretty far out of the way. That's really far out of the way. It's not much better, but better than alternatives. That's that's Antares system, right? Yeah. Sure we'll head that way. Just stay close to the core worlds to minimize our exposure to pirate activity. Because this ship really can't defend itself all that well. It would be absolutely fine uh, in the original because the enemy AI was so bad. But uh, now that the AI can actually dance around a little bit, it's not the greatest thing. Did I get the killing blow? I did not. My combat rating is still harmless. Sad. So sad. Another pirate. We'll, uh, we'll try to do this once more. See if I can perform the famous Monty Python maneuver, which was made very difficult thanks to Nova. But, uh, as you can see, it can still be done. It's kind of match your target's velocity, and uh, when you hit them, they can't hit you so much. Nice credits. And I am denied the killing blow once again by the ship's security system. Disappointing. Here. The rebels don't care. I'm gonna kill this one just for the sake of killing it. Because I'm a monster! Alright, one more pass. It should disable. And as tempted as I am to take its money, I am sick of having a harmless combat rating. There. Finally, I kill a thing. Mostly harmless. Your combat rating uh, actually has an effect on which missions are available to you. At least, missions from the spaceport bar. That'll be things like escorting convoys and uh, running special deliveries for corporations like uh, Starbound Shipping. And those missions, those missions are where the money is. Murphy? Murphy? Where's Murphy? That's Adhara, right? Yes, Adhara. Let's get that on the map. Oh, another rush to Ruby, and we'll do that too. Head through this direction. Save the luxury liner! Uh-oh. And that's how you piss off a rebel destroyer. This is why I bought an afterburner. They like their medical here, huh? Don't usually find myself in the south central area of the galaxy, so grab a map while I'm here. Uh, no, no, Hikiba's in the northeast. 
Master's Planet, that's pretty far in the east. New Providence is where I just came from. We will take no missions. Just get this delivery to Ruby. I'm still trying to decide whether I want my next ship to be a Clipper or an Argosy. Argosy has a lot of... Ugh. Let's, let's not get caught in the crossfire. That would be crossfire! Ow! Here. We'll just hide next to this asteroid until the fighting stops. We do not want to catch another stray heavy rocket. Yes. This is kind of important to know that uh, if you take the Confederation side, this is actually the only planet you can get uh, the ship speed and maneuverability upgrades. Which is why it's important to be able to land here. These are actually much easier to find if you are a rebel, because you can pick them up uh, at Satori, you can pick them up at uh, Laura Lee right here, and uh, I think those might be the only two locations. They are, of course, I think also available at Darwin. Darwin is very often pissed if you go Confederate. Not for any real reason, I don't think. They just don't like you kill. The independent systems don't like you taking sides. I'll put it that way. Any good missions out of here? Liberty Station. That's a great one to get on the map. We'll go there. There's virtually never any reason... Oh, it's already on the map. Well, whatever. There's virtually never any reason to go there. It's just, uh... It's a system with a whole lot of asteroids and not a whole lot else. What if they're gonna pay me 25 grand to go there? And I don't have anything else lined up? I'll take it. So as you can see, Liberty Station was constructed to serve as an ore processing center and a refueling base for the ships that mine valuable ores in the floating debris of the Trigadi asteroid belt, a region of the galaxy thick with space-borne rocks of all sizes. And unfortunately, that's, that's pretty much it. All you can do here is look at the mission computer and find it somewhere else to be. This is uh, before asteroid mining became a part of the EV series. New Scotland's pretty far away. Sentinel Station... I think that's also pretty far away, but I could be wrong. No, Sentinel's very close. We'll, we'll head there. Yeah. Head over to one of my favorite locations, New Bavaria in the Jedzia system. Oh look, a pirate. A clipper pirate. We'll just uh, go over here, hide behind this asteroid until he runs out of javelin rockets. And then we will outmaneuvers him and defeat him. Maybe not so much with the outmaneuvering, but I definitely have the firepower advantage. Uh, the credits are going to be more valuable than the goods. And the ship will be... it's kind of a slim chance, but... Okay. We will be on our way. To Sentinel Station. The early warning outpost. 
for uh, Adhara here. This is one of very few stations, actually, in this game that are this far away from a planet uh, if they're in the vicinity of a planet at all. There, there's, there are systems with a, a station in them and no planets, but if there is a planet, the station is usually next to the planet. Like, no further away than my scout ship is now. So this one is a bit of an oddity, being so far away from the planet. Murphy's World. Rather... Oh, that's back there. Gina. It's pretty close. We'll hop there before we go to uh, Gudzia. mission for the Jinzia system is, after all, not any kind of rush. Hey, Dark Star's next to Jinzia. Let's grab that. Sentinel Station, we just came from there. We'll grab that, too. Those things are on the way. All right. We will plot our course. Just some minor rebel confederate skirmishes. Here we are. Sentinel Station, drop off our cargo, move on our way. Try not to get blown up here in the Scion. Try not to get blown up in Triven, which we are entering now. Here we are arriving at Pelagon, and here is my beloved Genzia system. No pirates allowed here. This system is under my protection! And I will needlessly spend money on missiles to clear it out. Uh, yeah, Torgo's pretty local. Merlin, not so much. Where is Merlin exactly? Oh, that's Tassetti. But, uh, yeah, we'll go to Torgo. It's on the way. And Sergil's pretty local, but not worth going for that little small of a fee. All right, Dark Star, right around the corner. Ah, hello there, Noda. Only took me three minutes to notice your message. See, this happens on occasion where the price of a good will be extra low or extra high somewhere. And if you know where to go to get things, that could be very profitable. Unfortunately, I have no idea where to go to sell equipment. North Star, Sentinel... No, I don't want to go to those places. Let's grab a map here. Very convenient. It's a good location to get a two-jump radius map. And we'll head over to Torgo Prime, home of the Torgo virus.
Many of the inhabitants of Torgo Prime are carriers of the awful Torgo virus, which causes extreme swelling of the joints and degradation of the speech centers of the brain. In its later stages, the Torgo virus renders its victims incapable of functioning in normal society. No cure is known, so the relief ships keep coming here, delivering medical supplies to fight off the disease. This planet, too, is an easter egg of some sort. I do not know the origins, but do look it up. So you can see here, you can sell viral serum here for a small fortune. And I actually know where to pick up the viral serum in its originin. Uh, uh, originin. You pick up the viral serum here from New Istanbul in the Yemero system. It's just so far to go, though, that the amount you spend on hired escorts kind of eats up all your profits. Mars, Enyo. Enyo is not so bad. Let's go to Mars and Enyo. And we're just about to breach 500 grand. Which means it's time to decide whether I want a clipper or not. I'm inclined to say not. It's a fine little ship, but it's just... The biggest time sink in this game is making money, and the clipper isn't any, isn't any better at making money than the scout ship. The Argosy, though, has a pretty darn significant cargo capacity. Ikkyo is entirely the wrong direction. That's over in the west. Syntex Refinery. It's the Rebel Refinery. It's a little too far to go. As you can see, we've uh, we've uncovered most of the map. Well, I suppose you can't see that. You wouldn't know that uh, without knowing what I know. But I've uncovered most of the map now. Macedonia is pretty local. Antares is also pretty local. We'll grab those. So here we are in the Sidonia system with planet New Sidonia, which happens to be in a small war with its neighboring system, Lethe, and Lethe Prime. There is not a great deal of ways you can get involved in the Lethe Sidonian War, but you can on occasion uh, help one planet or the other defend from the other. And that can be reasonably good money if you can get that mission to pop up. Let's grab a regional here. Unveil Scorpio there. And head over to, oh dear, pirates. Well, the Lethian Corvette there, we'll take care of that. Short order. Another pirate. Anyone here to fight it? No? I'll deal with it. Come here, you. Oh, don't shoot me. Come on, fall into the Monty Python. Fall into the Monty Python.
where I fire upon my foe whilst simultaneously retreating. See, if I had the cargo capacity, I would definitely take the cargo here of the medical supplies, because that, that many medical supplies would certainly sell for more than 27 grand, but I only have 28 tons of cargo space available, so unfortunately, I just have to satisfy myself with the credits and an attempt to capture another pirate. Just because I can defeat him, I probably should, because many missions are gated behind having a certain combat rating, which you only achieve by killing things. So, as before, just wait for his rockets to run out and try to circle around him. And we'll be on our way. We need to land on the station of the planet. Station. Alright. I think I have enough money that I can afford to hire some freighters and do my shitty trade route. Aha, uh -huh. Aztec's Mining Industries wants me to go survey a planet way out in the boonies uh, for 35 grand. No. No, for two reasons. First, NGC 6564 is the location of a pirate base. And uh, it's way out of the way. It's not worth going there for 35 grand. Especially if it's not going to give me landing clearance on Evil Drone. And it's not. I could probably bribe them, but all the same, I don't want to go out there. It's dangerous. There's nothing to do there. No thank you. Oh hey. Military uniform. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Confederation Supply Bureau. This is how you start the, uh, the Confederate mission string. Ah! Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll take the path less traveled, because basically everyone sides with the Rebellion because they're the good guys. Well, I, I will take the path less traveled and show you the Confederate mission string as it, as it goes. Though, uh, could be very much broken up over time. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, courier mission. What do you got? Records and documents bound for Defidia 2. No problem. Where was I going? Oh, I was going to start making money. Heh. <laughs> That's alright. This is just the introductory mission for him. It's not going to trap me into a series of missions that I can't get out of. In fact, it can actually be quite difficult to get a mission string to proceed because the uh, missions are gated behind not only combat rating, but 
but also legal status and also, more importantly, just having a random factor. So the next step in the mission chain, the mission string, or whatever language you prefer to use, it could have only a 10% chance of occurring, so you could be looking for that for a long-ass time. Confederation officer accepts the documents you brought to Defidia 2. The Confederation thanks you, Captain. This service will not go unnoticed by my superiors. We may have additional work for you in the future. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Ooh, this is a good way to get money. We're approached by a person whom you recognize as an official of the Dethidian government. Dethidia 2 is threatened with ecological disaster, he tells you, due to the actions of a person or persons which have secretly been dumping toxic waste in the oceans. Dethidia's government needs someone to investigate. Will you help us? It's going to piss off the Confederation, who I just decided to join, but sure! For years, our seas have been clean and beautiful, says the high-ranking representative of Dafidia's government. But now, someone is illegally dumping toxic wastes into our oceans. Is there an echo in here? We are a peaceful planet. We have no military forces with which to combat this threat to our ecosystem. Nevertheless, it is imperative that we discover who is behind this. Your mission is to scout out our system and report back with what you find. Sure, we can do that. We can do that. If I'm going to do this to its conclusion, I just want to make sure I have plenty of defenses here. And I think I've got all I really can get. So here we are. We are investigating the Defidia system. We have a Confederate light freighter, a bulk freighter from the Aztecs mining industries, and a Confederate frigate. Oh my. A bulk freighter from an evil giant corporation? What else could it be? Most interesting, says your contact. Your sensor logs report that you have detected an Aztec's mining industries freighter passing through our space. We will soon call on you again once we have more fully analyzed your sensor, sensor data. Meet me in the spaceport bar when you are ready. Sure. Your government contact greets you. The Aztec's freighter you observed leaving here on your last mission has been tracked to the Az Aztec's mining facility on New Providence. We need you to go to the Antari system and do a little recon for us. Ready to go? Sure. The freighter you observed on your last mission has been traced to the Aztec's mining facilities on New Providence. Once again, is there an echo in here? The official informs you. So that we may learn if Aztecs has anything to do with our environmental problems, we need you to go to the Antari system and report back with what you find. Sure. That's just a hop, skip, and a jump. I mean, it takes a day in hyperspace, but it's really close. Oh. And we have Aztecs interceptors. Flying Confederate patrol ships. Firing on me. For no apparent reason. It can be nothing but an evil mega corporation. Well, shit. I better go report this. Welcome back, the official greets you. We are all glad you made it back in one piece. The fact that Aztecs is so heavily guarding an ordinary mining colony indicates that there is something going on there that they don't want us to find out about. We are also confused as to why the Aztecs interceptor pilots were flying Confederation patrol ships. Please meet me in the spaceport bar for the details of your next assignment. Something suspicious is going on in the Antari system, says your contact. Something Aztecs doesn't want us to find out about. Is there an echo in here? We've detected another Aztecs freighter entering the Dephidia system. Your mission will be to disable it and capture a sample of the, of the ore in its cargo bays. Are you ready for this assignment? Eh, uh, not really, but sure. All signs so far indicate that Aztecs is behind the toxic chemical dumping. 
However, we must be sure. We require you. We require the. We require of you the unusual and extreme task of disabling a passing Aztec's freighter and confiscating a sample of the ore in its cargo bays. We can then analyze it and determine if it matches the chemicals being dumped in our oceans. I don't really have enough missiles for this, I'm afraid, but we'll make it work. See what we can do with beams. Okay, time to break off. So those missiles are seriously going to wreck me. That missile should finish the disabling process. Now I just gotta juke by these patrol ships. Quickly dock with this thing. Get the hell out of dodge. There we go. Crew of workers unloads the ore samples from your ship's cargo bay. Excellent work, says your contact. When we are finished analyzing these samples, we will call on you again. Meet me in the spaceport bar for further instructions. The ore sample you retrieved for us has the same toxic chemicals in it that are being dumped in our oceans, says the Davidian governor's representative. Now that we know Aztecs is behind this, we need to send them a clear message. Your mission is the destruction of one of their freighter convoys. Are you up to it? Actually, no. I'm not up to it at all. And then there's the mission to take people to turn five. I'll skip that for now. I need more weapons. And as you can see, completing these missions has had legal consequences across Confederation space here. Confederation is not happy with me. I need more firepower. Ow, I just took a heavy rocket to the face. That was unpleasant. Hawk Bay would be nice. A little too expensive, sadly. Uh... Really need the range, though. There. A little less sustainable firepower, but more... Oops. <laughs> more firepower at range that's guided and all that jazz. Which is what I'm going to need in order to shoot down several freighters. Okay, here we are. Am I up to it? I certainly am. Thanks to your brave work, says the Davidian official, we have determined that Aztecs is indeed responsible for dumping these toxic wastes into our oceans and near, uh, of our nearby planet. Is there an echo in here? Now that we know, we need to send Aztecs a clear message. We need you to destroy a freighter convoy that is approaching our planet. You just said all that. Why are you making me read it again? Okay, there are the freighters. That's a lot of freighters. I do not have enough missiles. Dude. Uh. Ow. I think there was a Confederate frigate in that in that system. It would explain the missile. OK. 
Okay. Two missiles to disable. Not bad. We will have to burn away from the missiles! Okay, that's all the freighters disabled. So I'm not going to lose the mission by having one of my targets escape. Now I just got to destroy them one by one and not get destroyed by fighters chasing me. I think the fighters are all out of missiles, though, so we should be good. Oh look, my combat rating is average! Something to celebrate! And I am, surprisingly, only an offender in the neighboring Confederate system. I expected to be a criminal after doing that. Okay, let's land up. Aztecs knows we know about their operation now, says the official. We have also finished analyzing the elements in the ore samples you brought, brought, brought back for us. It appears that the waste materials are byproducts of a weapons manufacturing process, as there are several exotic compounds in the mixture. One of them is, I'm not even going to try to say that word, <laughs> uh, a material used only in the booster stages of Confederation solid fuel missiles. We surmise that somewhere deep within the mines of New Providence, the Confederation is operating a secret weapons lab. Please meet me in the bar for your final assignment. The data you have gathered for us will be the downfall of the Aztecs Mining Corporation's very profitable operations in this region of space. For safety, we need to send a complete copy of this data to friendly agents in the Yemero system. Or am I ready to undertake this mission? I most certainly am. We have Aztecs where we want them now, gloats your contact. The data we have will put them out of business in this region of space and expose the Confederation conspiracy. However, we still have to get that data to the rest of the galaxy. We have contacts waiting for you on New Istanbul who will pay you a sizable sum in exchange for these files. Be careful, as Aztecs will stop at nothing to keep that data from reaching the public. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be pursued by a whole mess of fighters who will be spamming missiles at me the whole way. And my only real defense against this is my afterburner. Because my decoy flares are deploying at stupid times. Hopefully the confeds here won't shoot me because I'm an outlaw here. Okay, we should be good. Should be able to land before any missiles make it to me. Wonderful, wonderful. A trio of Diffidian agents takes the priceless data files from you. They also pay you an astronomical sum for your loyalty and courage. And that astronomical sum is one million credits. Which is quite a boost along my way to uh, better ships. Probably going to want to take a stop over in a uh, Maskarovka Corvette here. Which uh, is going to cost me 2.34 million. So I'm actually quite close, only needing another 750 grand. But uh, first things first, I need to repair my legal status with the Confederation, which I will hope to accomplish from the Spice system in Rebel Space. This 
is where things will get a little bit grindy. Get my fourth laser cannon back. Stock back up on missiles. And we're basically just gonna land and take off here until there are pirates. And then we're gonna shoot at the pirates. And have rebels shoot heavy rockets up our hyperdrive. And we're fighting pirates. Confederates don't like pirates, and they will like me for killing pirates. The trick is getting pirates to kill without rebels also killing those pirates. Here we go. Come at me, brah. And, uh, make a little bit of money on the way. It might take, uh, a couple of dozen pirate kills to make that happen. That's Kestrel. We don't want to fight a Kestrel. Also, do not want to fight confeds. This mantle will take care of that, though. Now, how am I supposed to restore my legal status with the Confederation when the Confederation keeps trying to kill me? Ah, huh, pirate. Where are you? I'll let you kill the freighter. So that I can have killing blow without question. Ooh, medical. Medical sells well here. That's Kestrel. <laughs> don't don't want to mess with them. Don't want to mess with them ever. Ow. And there goes the rebels with their itchy trigger fingers, just blasting helpless civilians like myself with heavy rockets, not caring where those weapons go. At least when the Confederation shoots me, it's intentional. Better luck in the Pelagon system. Much lower chance of warships in the system, and it's actually closer to some confeds. Because proximity matters quite a lot in terms of uh, getting credit for doing things that someone likes. No pirates right now, though. Red Rebel fight, and we'll hang out and watch this. We might get lucky, and we might disable one another. It's pretty close. We'll just gently finish the job on that destroyer. <laughs> Try to capture it. 
Okay, good. The rebels aren't too pissed. And I certainly don't want to piss them off until I absolutely have to. There's a pirate. I may not get a good chance at killing Blow here, but we will try. Give me something to shoot that everybody hates. some progress. At least I'm not an offender in this system anymore. Uh, this is risky. But what do I have to lose? So, uh, want to give me a hand? Corvette can't handle that. Can, however, handle this. I don't think I got credit for it, though. Nope. Corvette too dangerous. And big ol' rebel fleet, I'll never get the killing blow. We can handle this. Come forth. Come forth. Into my relentless stream of laser blasts. Missile very likely took the kill away from me. That is unfortunate. Nope. Corvette's dangerous. Nope. Corvette's dangerous. Hmm. Maybe I will have better luck in the uninhabited system. Not so much. Yes, there is a pirate here. He is very quickly getting knocked out by everyone else. I do not know what this cruiser is doing, but if it doesn't want to engage, I'm not going to complain. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go, get the kill, get the kill. Ugh. They're being a little hard to please right now. I would have thought I'd be making some visual progress by now. Not looking that way. 
Capella likes me at least. Okay, we can handle that. We can handle that. We're gonna need to use our missiles because our shields are already low. Well, that's alright. Just uh, give them a nice dent. No, don't get kit. Another uh, another laser blast, and I probably would have been disabled. Maybe I should try to figure out a trade route with Capella here. Because Capella is reliably high on luxury goods. It's just a matter of can I find a trading partner? Low industry, low equipment. Uh, medium food metal, med, food med metal. I think Dark Star might be a good candidate. Looking for someone that has low luxury goods. And something a little higher elsewhere. There's like your low luxury goods. High industrial. We have a trade route. And the light freighter is the ship with the most cargo. And I can actually hire. Bulk freighters would be better, but the only way to get those would be to capture them through military force. So light freighters it is. I should have plenty of money to hire several of these and load them up. Yeah, in fact, I can fill my entire escort pool with light freighters. I'm limited to six. There we go. So I'm losing about 17,000 credits per day to pay these escorts. And I believe it's going to be three days to a jump. Currently the 17th. Yeah, three days to a jump. So costing me about 45 grand per jump. So when I set out to do this, I had on the order of 1.58 million. Ooh, and it's even higher now. And I've made myself a cool 200k right there. Dandy, dandy. So 179. I'm not sure if I'm going to make profit on this return run or just manage my costs. It's better than not taking anything. Yeah, I actually lost 20k coming back on the return trip. Well, that's okay, that's okay. I make a great deal going the other way. Now, I will actually go ahead and obey my schedule because no one really wants to watch me 
do this trade run for two hours making money. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut the recording here. And when we stream again, I will have oodles of credits and we'll take it from there. For tonight, this is as always, Yui Admiral signing out. Mirab with sails unfurled.